who are voting this November who love Israel, what, what do you suggest? Well, it's, you know, it's very important that we get educated. All of us really need to take every opportunity to get educated. There's a movie out, 2016. Go see the movie. Make sure that you know everything about the people that are running. So don't be an ignorant person going to these polls and get your friends to go to get educated as well. This is the most important election of our lifetime, of my lifetime. I'm a little older than you are. But it's very, very key and very important. I happen to know Mr. Romney. I know Mr. Ryan. These are two very stand-up guys. They're honorable people. They're people of faith. They're people of, uh, you know, with a passion for the truth. And, uh, and yes, these two, and these two guys are expert in doing the hard work that is required to make a plan, to get the numbers straight, and to figure out ways through this abyss that we've been thrown into. So I say vote for these guys. And, and, and I th say anybody who's interested in the state of Israel, and I hope that the Jewish, all Jewish people, have a great abiding love for Israel. I'm not Jewish, but I have that love for Israel. Please, please, this is very important. They're, uh, they're on a, a, you know, a very difficult uh, uh, situation right now. They're in a, in, in a very tight squeeze, and they've been placed there, unfortunately, over these past three years, in a very desperate situation. Now, we've got to, we've got to do something about this, because we can't let Israel go. We cannot let Israel go. Anyway, you guys. Uh, do you think Obama has it out for Israel if in another term? Look, every indication of what Obama has done with Israel, and you can talk about the leaks, which prevented them from responding properly, taking away bases in Azerbaijan, you know, you know the, the constant attention you know, and, and criticism of Israeli people building on their own land while they let Iran, you know, go toward a nuclear weapon and the people in, in, in Iran were fighting against this uh, administration of the mullahs and Ahmadinejad. We did nothing as a nation. We're the, uh, they cried out for help from us and what did we do? We turned our backs. This is, uh, it's not a good situation. And every indication has been, you know, the support for the, uh, you know, the, the, the lack of support for, for proper uh, security for Israel, the suggestion that they go back to the table with the Palestinians, starting with the 67 borders as a, as a base, this is genocide. So we must, we, we must educate ourselves. We must know what's going on here. We must know what the stakes are. I, I said tonight, I was on this telethon, and I said, you know, there's never been a more dangerous situation for the state of Israel than right now. And that, that's a state that has been in, under, in, in, uh, uh, attacked every second of its existence. I'm saying right now is, is worse than ever. And I don't want to see another Holocaust in my life. Uh, just Israel is imperiled, or the United States also from Iran? Well, look, you talk about, first of all, we, we gave, we, we had a victory in Iraq handed to this administration, and what did they do? They pulled their troops out too early, they pulled out too many troops, so they had no security there, no, no presence there that could keep the enemies from coming in and taking over, which they did. We handed them a rock on a platter. We're doing the same thing with Af Afghanistan right now. So, so this is a, this is a really, uh, this is a bad situation. And I don't want to, I mean, it's obvious that this has got to be turned around somehow. Uh, but but for, for many people, it's too late. You know, but for Israel, you know, we still have a chance to save it, and we have to protect our shores as well. When Ahmadinejad talks about the evil in the world, he, he puts his finger on Israel and the United States. This guy's, when mad men speak, you should listen. You should learn that lesson from the 20th century. Okay, thanks. Where's my picture? So where's my picture? Come here, where, get this.